Hello YouTube viewers, my name is Sanchu, and I'm bringing you guys a new segment on my ch channel called Storytime, where I tell you some stories about my past with games and all that other stuff. This phone went off, come on. I don't really know how to start this story off. This one's a real doozy. If you guys don't like a uh, toilet humor, then uh, I advise you from not watching this one. So, oh man, where am I starting this off? Alright, it's I'm in fourth grade, right? And that this is what Okay. Okay. How many times does this phone have to go off? Okay. Now, without any further interruptions, may I start my story now. So I'm in fourth grade, right? And this is when the Pokemon Gen 2 remakes came out and I know you Pokemon fans like oh my god Gen 2 remakes are finally out uh, because Gen 2 was is one of my favorite po Pokemon games I don't, I don't know just because it's like some of the Pokemon in it but you couldn't really play Gen 2 like have the save file on it because sometimes or almost every time the in-game clock would mess up the save data and you couldn't play it anymore, so that's why I didn't play Gold, Silver, or Crystal until a lot later. Because some of my friends were having that problem too, and like, why can't I play this? But anyway, I went ahead, I think it was the first or second day I went ahead and got it, but I got Heart Gold because Ho-Ho, I like Ho-Ho, and then my little brother got Soul Silver. So, I started playing it, and I started loving the hell out of it, because Gen 2, for me, but my, I, my first game was Gen 1, Pokemon Red, I got Squirtle, I just loved it, but anyway, I started out the game, I got a Cyndaquil, because it's my one of my favorite starters, and then I just started playing it, you know, just started playing it in my room, just me alone, not really doing much. It was really quiet in there, but then oh, I have a week go by, and then the power goes out. Where it's like I'm, I didn't really notice because I was playing the, my Pokemon game so much, and my, <laughs> there's not that many lights in my room. So when I finally noticed it, I was like, "What the heck? What's going on?" And then my mom comes up and uh, tells me that it's uh, the power is out for a couple of days. So. You can play your Pokemon game until then, and it was fully charged too, so I can play it for however long I wanted, and I can I play it outside too sometimes. But here's where things get a little bit disgusting. So it's 10 o'clock at night. I'm still playing Pokemon Heart Gold with my brother fast asleep. So. I'm trying to catch an Entei, right? And then I fall right to sleep. And then when I wake up, just guess what happens? I'm gonna give you guys a few seconds. All right, you done? Okay, I paid on my DS. I paid on my Nintendo DS. I don't know why, I was like, Oh my god, I paid on my Nintendo DS! What do I do? Oh my god! It's like, I just took it down to my mom and was like, oh, What do I do? I was crying so much that I thought it was broken, but the game wasn't. It, the game wasn't broken, it was just a system. So, all my progress is still saved on there. So, I take it to my mom, she tries to dry it up, and then the, it's just not working. Whenever I turn it on, it just came up with this weird screen. It's like shutter, stuttering. It's like, eh, 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 eh. it's like, so we turned it off, and then it's just, just couldn't play. It's like, oh, Kyle, I'm so sorry. We can't, you can't uh, play your game. It's the system's not working. I'm like, well, can we buy a new one soon? It's like, I don't know if we can do that it's just now. And I was like, I was so depressed. Because I couldn't play my Pokemon games. I had so many of them. And I had uh, Scribblenauts. I loved playing that game too. Trying to ride on the Pterodact 
pterodactyl, you know, just like riding around with a sword. But it was like I couldn't play it anymore, and I was so sad. <laughs> just started playing on my PS2 with Jack and Daxter because I loved that game. Naughty Dog, make the fourth game, please. For the love of God, make the fourth game. So, two years rolled by, alright? I'm in the sixth grade. And then I was like, I, I catch my DS. And it didn't, it didn't smell bad either, so I didn't really just like have to do anything with that. So, <laughs> I go over to it. I go over to the drawer I put it in. I was like, huh, maybe I should try this again. And I was like holding it, I was like, ah, oh, the memories. Just put, have my Nintendo DS. Just imagine a, a Nintendo DS with, um... <laughs> just imagine my Nintendo DS with promotional stickers of Mission Dungeon uh, Explores the Darkness and Time. And I, I was just like, ah, oh, the memories. I just turned it on. And guess what happens? It's completely functional. I was I was so surprised. I just like jumped up and I was like, "Oh my god, it works again! It works! It works! Oh my god!" It mind you, the bottom of it is kind of stained, so I didn't think it would work, but it it, it did. It worked. It was, I just started playing Hard Gold for the past five hours. After that, I was like. I, f that I was gonna get you, Ente. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. You guys are probably just sitting there like, why did he do that? <laughs> He's like, you peed on your DS. <laughs> and it worked. And I was like, I thought it didn't work. I thought it even wouldn't work because we, uh, like. 50% of the time, it probably wouldn't have worked. But we got we got it to work again. And this was around the time where I got my new black and blue DS. And it was really cool. I played some games and I was like... I think it was around the time when black and white released. I can't remember. Maybe it was more than that. I can't... I really can't remember. But... Because my my mind's so fuzzy from this, but I remember that one event really clearly. <laughs> but anyway, we, I started playing that again. I put my stickers back on my uh, on my black and blue one because I think it looked nicer on it. And yeah, I just started playing some games on there again, and I was really happy. That's just the whole story. And I showed my mom, and she was very surprised to see that it started working again. So yeah, that was my story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> just the thought of me saying that. Don't judge me, okay? I know a lot of kids that had problems with peeing in the bed, alright? So don't just, don't just go and say, oh, <laughs> you peed on your DS. <laughs> no. A lot of kids have problems with their beds and stuff. And it was the Entei's fault that I stayed up all that night. That it was just... I'm pretty sure I stayed up, up until 12 o'clock in the morning. And then I just went to sleep without noticing. With that DS. I think it just turned off or something, I can't remember. But yeah, that was my story, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and share with your friends. I'd really appreciate it. And maybe I'll have some more stories up sometime next week. I'm not too sure. I'm trying to remember some of the stories again. I know, I remember one. And it's not as funny as this one, but it's, <laughs> it's funny. Anyway. I will see you guys next time.